Hey, this is Nick with Cheerline Sports. Today I'm going to show you how to put on a rifle scope and how to make sure that it's all level. One thing you're going to want to do is make sure you put your firearm in a vise so that way it's not wobbling around on you. And then after you do that, what you're going to want to do is get a level and make sure that your firearm is completely level. So right there is about good for us. And over here... That is perfectly level so now i know that when i put the scope on it's going to sit perfectly level so next I'm, next i'm going to want to do is grab our mounts which are these guys right here and the way they go on is all you do is grab these screws right here and get yourself a little bit of loctite loctite helps a lot with the screws from unthreading from recoil and just wear and tear. You don't really have to crank down on these, just get it nice and tight. Once it's tight, just give it a little quarter turn. There you go, that way you don't over, over tighten it and strip out your threads. And then we're gonna do the other side. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to double check to make sure that for me tightening everything that I didn't loosen up anything else and that the firearm is still straight. So we're straight there. And I moved the gun a little bit to the left. So now I got to compensate for that. So now that is perfectly straight. So now what we're going to want to do is grab our scope. There we go. Make sure that your scope isn't hitting your firearm. That will obviously knock off the center of it. So now all you're going to have to do is put your scope on. Try and eye it up as level as you can and then just get your level and put it on there. I generally put it on the cap, so that way I know that it's flat. Yeah. And right there is perfect. So now all I'm going to do is grab it rings put them on again we're going to use thread locker
So now to tighten these screws up, all I do is I just go from side to side. The reason why I do that is so that way if you tighten one side more than the other, what could happen is it could kink your scope one way or the other, and you don't want that for when you sight it in. So I'm going to do that in just a second here. So as I feel one side starts to get a little tight, I jump over to the other and I tighten it down to where I feel it get a little tight and I just go back and forth. And like I said, again, all that does is just ensure that the scope gets seats properly and it doesn't get kinked. Yeah. So now that it's all nice and tight, I'm going to have to sight this in. Once I sight it in, then I know this will be good to go. If you like this video and you find it informative, please like and subscribe. Also, if you want, you can leave in the comments on a video you'd like me to do. And on top of that, too, if you want to see our inventory, you can go on our Facebook. And my boss posts pictures of our inventory daily.